Upside down and broke his eardrum in Casty and the navigator now, Jay Rathbone, had a leg broken. But they all seem to want to get back in there, they and why do. wouldn't you? It's, it's a blown Ford 440 under a 440 shooting off the line. The meaner machine. The sound that we are allowing you to listen to is phenomenal. I tell you, there's going to be no water left in this track if he keeps bumping it out. He is absolutely holding it pin. The big green Mina Machina is absolutely looking like his best run so far. Here comes a split. Stand by. 29.5. He's on it. Richard just needs to hold the hammer down and keep it to the ground. Yeah, he's absolutely hammering. This is Richard Murray. A little bit knifey. Plenty of power in it to get out of it. Run 44.270. So that's putting the wood on the rest of the top six in the Mouth Breeze Superboats. Great run. Oh, what do you think of that? 31 litres of methanol. Oh, the smell of that up here, mate. Oh, oh. geez, I tell you, you could live on it, couldn't you? If that didn't wake you up, I don't know what would. That was insane. Here comes another one. Twin Turbo 434 Vickers Aircraft. It, let's hope it's not turning into one, but it has been an absolute roarer today. Baden Gray, Prosper Mortgages, 44, two to beat. So uh, that is Richard Murray's best time of the day. So now Baden Gray will quite that. Well up on the plane, launching off the line there. Darren Todd doing the navigational duty. Bit of a pop there. Nothing to worry about. Keep the foot into it. Baden Gray had an issue with the stator. It's been welded up in the pits in between runs. Would be very confident. Oh, you really heard the boat bog down there. But the twin turbo spooled up and got him out of it. Oh, I used everything. The blow-off valve's popping. The whole lot's going on here. Baden is really loving the feel of these hair dryers. Split is 32. Oh. Slightly down on the big supercharged board. He's got a bit of work to do to bring it home. It could be Baden Gray. Not his day. Well, let's hope that it is because Baden Gray been doing beautifully all day. Where is it going to be? The biggest aircraft machine, 44.828, slower than Richard Murray by 0.6 of a second or thereabouts. So, Baden Gray, not as smooth as we've seen. No, mate, we're back to this 44 club again. Well, haven't we been here? This is deja vu, mate. We are back into the 44s. And then these 43s that are right there. It seems to be anything you can do, I can do better. Here he comes, Nick Big Berry's Berryman, Riverjet. It's been a yeah, cracker all day. I love these Big Berries. <laughs> <laughs> well, he makes one. That is, that is fantastic. <laughs> oh, the squeeze. This bloke has been on side. The uh, old style hull. This is the 410 cubic in Chevy with a Whipple supercharger. Plenty of noise, plenty of power. It is Daniel Iamunga doing the navigational duties. This doesn't want to be Nick Murray's more late fighters. Will the retreat? He is looking golden. I can't hear a thing you're saying, KB, but I'll tell you what, this is insane. He's really right in the Oh, that ugly out there, but here we go. The split is a 29-3. He's on it. He's looking like he wants to be Kingpin. There's nothing left. Yeah, this is a man. He wants that podium. Big time, and to do that, you need to get to the top three. Nick Merriman, and Nick Merriman straight at the top of the table with 43.911. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> the Whipple Supercharger just passed the Blown Supercharger, which just passed the Twin Turbo Chargers. Wow, this is just phenomenal. Now, Baden Gray and Darren Todd sitting on the bubble in P3. We've still got Rob Coley in the mouth brush machine, Peter Cowie in the NZ machine, and Richard Burt in the Eltham window systems machine. So this is going to be red hot. Now here's where the pressure is really getting onto these guys. We know that Rob Coley can get the job done, but he also has a brain fade from time to time. He does. Richard Burt has been known to throw the cat and the baby out with the bath water and get it wrong. Here we go, mouth fresh. The moment, Sir Rob the Third, the Nissan Twin Turbo, quite as he comes to the line. Let's and, see what and, he can do. Uh, 
you know, an aficionado for big blocks and he's got the japper. <laughs> oh, he's, is he going to be the clapper? You can hear it popping as it goes down. He's got nothing left in this. Beautifully as he carves it through there. This looks quick. This he's, looks like a demon run from Rob. Yeah, he's just got to keep his head about him. This should be the easy part of the track. Just got to get the mouth brush hairpin oh, nailed, nailed it. it. That's the best hairpin we've seen all day. The split, we're sitting down. Oh, good Lord. 28.350. He's a second up again. This could be the 42 club. Let's see if Sir Rob can bring it home. Get him behind him. The mighty mouth fresh flyer. Oh, Rob Coley with a 42.425. Oh, whoa. There you have it. And what do you think about that? Whoa. Uh, just, just so you know, he went to the top of the table. Yeah. <laughs> Easy as. That was another holy coley moment. And it was a cracker. That is beautiful. Well, that is the end of Baden Gray in the Vickers Aircraft, 10 Tools, Prosper Mortgage and Insurance Machine. That leaves the Mina Machine with Richard Murray sitting on the bubble. And we still have two more to go. And we aren't into the top three yet, ladies and gentlemen. We've only got uh, nine plus two is 11. 11 more boats to go for the rest of the day. Don't go anywhere. This is shit hot and shiny racing. I guarantee you that. Here he comes. Cool, calm and collective. Peter Coey. Pete. We'll be looking at this gun. I think he's tapped. It's all happening. NZ, Total. He's got the pressure on him. He don't see him very often. Certainly got the runs on the board, this man. There is no doubt about that. Sharma Puccinui, he's not going to be happy that Rob Coley has just ripped out a 42 and a little bit of change. Sharma Puccinui looking a lot more animated than we've seen it throughout the day. She knows the pressure's on. This is the normally aspirated against the turbos, the inductants, and he's used to leading the way. But today he's had to chase the day. Here it is, the split. 28-5. He's there with Rob. Sir Rob, he's right there. Pistol Pete, he hasn't got his hand on his meat, he is fine. Yeah, he's really going to need to push this. Rob Coley points him up on the split. Peter Coey, did he make it up at the end? Oh, 42.826. Rob Coley still quicker by point four. Oh, Sir Rob the third. He's actually Sir Rob the first at the moment. He's hanging right at the top of the tree. Oh, mate. <laughs> wow. And we've still got uh, Richard Bird. Uh, for his run, so that is the end of the Mina machine, the blown 440 of Richard Murray. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> I'll tell you, we're going to have to sit down shortly. We're oh. just about worn a hole on the floor dancing around. I know, I'll tell you what, we have done more laps in about three feet than I could have ever done in, uh, in a four kilometre walk today. Right, I will see. From foot to foot. This is the Altham Window Systems with Richard Burt behind the wheel. Richard's at best time coming uh, for the day in the qualifying times was a 43.156. So, Rob Coley's gone quicker than that. Peter Coey's now gone quicker than that. Here we go, Silicon Cheeks. Let's watch and see what happens. <laughs> Haley Hayes doing the navigational duties. Very, very sedate off the line was Richard Bird. I thought it was a little bit sluggish compared to the old Jabber. But let's see, it seems to wind up and, oh, Let's see, he's right there. There's a bit of work to do, but if anyone can keep it in the game. Oh, oh see what yeah, I'm saying. that's cost him a lot. This boat got plenty of power to get out of trouble, but when you knife it in there and you're up against the likes of Rob Coley, Peter Coey et all, you really need to get every millimetre perfect. The split. 28, 660, he's there. He's still hanging in there, even though he's touched up everything you can see out there. This boat, Eltham, is still hanging in there. All right, Richard Bird now around Elfie for the last time this lap, and it is a 42, 846. Richard Bird into P3. Oh. So your top three runoff for the unlimited category is going to be Richard Bird, Peter Cowie, and Rob Coley. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to reset the clocks. We've got nine boats to run, three in each category. And wow, what a day of jet spreading. Have you had a good time? Woohoo, that's why we want 400.